Brad Pitt has invoked the war in Ukraine in his latest lawsuit against ex-wife Angelina Jolie over control of Chateau Miraville, a French winery the couple once co-owned that hosted their 2014 nuptials and produces an internationally renowned rose. The pair have been embroiled in the nasty and slow dissolution of their relationship since 2016 when Jolie, 47, filed for divorce from Pitt, 58, and for custody of their six children. The protracted legal saga of the former Hollywood power couple has spilled into a messy dispute over the ownership of the 17th century French estate and vineyard in Corrins. The Fight Club star has accused his ex-wife of secretly selling her 50% stake in his beloved business to an alleged Russian oligarch and spirits tycoon. A vindictive and unlawful move that he says was spurred by an unfavorable custody ruling she received last year. The new allegations were levied in an updated complaint filed in June against Jolie in Los Angeles Superior Court, asking a judge to cancel the deal that made Russian billionaire Yuri Scheffler and his company a co -op. He flew to Rome last week to visit his 14-year-old twins on their birthday. Jolie is with their brood in Italy filming without blood. Pitt recently opened up about suffering from prosopagnosia a condition that makes it difficult to recognize face at Chateau Miraville. The actor's doomed romance began as a scandal in 2004 when they met on the set of Mr. And Mrs. Smith while Pitt was still married to Jennifer Aniston. The pair bought Chateau Miraville together in 2008 for 25 million euros and agreed never to sell their respective interests without the other's consent, according to court papers. The vineyard became Pitt's passion, and a profitable one, as Miraville, under Pitt's stewardship, has grown into a multi-million dollar global business and one of the world's most highly regarded producers of rosé wine, his lawyer, Laura Brill. Brad Pitt filed for review in custody battle with Angelina Jolie following disqualification of private judge Pitt partnered with Marc Perrin, a French winemaker, in 2013. Their first wine, Miraville Rosé 2012, sold out, 6,000 bottles were gone in five hours. Wine Spectator listed the Brangelina bottle among the top 100 wines of 2013, the first rosé to ever make the cut. Brad Pitt fires back at ex-Angelina Jolie after she filed request to remove judge amid divorce battle. In the years that followed, the business branched out, producing champagne and other wines. Miraval products are now sold in over 65 different countries, wrote Brill, crediting Pitt for creating a wildly successful company that is now worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Bad faith deal. Pitt had agreed to buy Jolie out in 2021 and the warring exes had even settled on a price but that changed in May after a judge issued a ruling to modify their custody agreement in Pitt's favor. The suit alleges Jolie's side abruptly terminated the negotiations. In October 2021, Pitt first learned in a press release that Jolie had sold her half of the company to Scheffler, the main shareholder of SPI Group, a mammoth wine and spirits producer and distributor best known for the Stolichnaya vodka brand. The businessman made a bid for the company in 2016 when the couple first split, offering 60 million euros and a steeply discounted private jet to sweeten the pot, but Pitt rebuffed him. Jolie had thus sold her shares, not just to a stranger but to the very stranger with whom Pitt and Miraval had refused to deal. The suit alleges, calling Scheffler a controversial Russian oligarch. Scheffler has now tried to seize control of Miraval with the help of his henchman Alexei Olenik, contacting distributors and discussing contracts without the actor's permission. A poisonous associations. Miraval's carefully honed brand has also been dealt a blow through the connection to Scheffler who is allegedly known for ruthless business tactics and controversial business relationships, the suit says. Pitt's lawyer described the takeover as a Jolie-led conspiracy to force the actor into a partnership with a stranger with poisonous associations and intentions. Since Russia's February 2022 invasion of Ukraine, Miravel's insurer has sought assurances that Scheffler is not aligned with Putin. The filing says.
noting the boycott of Stolichnaya products and the Ukrainian government's call for sanctions. Since the war began, Stolichnaya vodka has been renamed Stoli, and Scheffler has insisted that the product is produced in Latvia, not Russia, where he ran afoul of President Vladimir Putin and was exiled. He lives with his wife, a Victoria's Secret model, in Geneva, Switzerland. Jolie, by her own admission, had little involvement in the business venture, enjoying the estate as a family retreat, where she stayed before the birth of their twins in 2008, and where the couple tied the knot in 2014. The 35-bedroom chateau, which boasts a professional recording studio, sweeping views of the vineyards and a private lake, sits on 1,800 acres.